In this video we'll be looking at my HP Velotech Scorpion RS20. So let's begin the tour of my bike. By the way, the uh, RS stands for rear suspension, which my bike has, and the 20 stands for 20 inch back wheel, which is the same as Lori's. Okay, as you see, we both have stand-up aids. Uh, mine are connected to the king post. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And um, the main reason I got mine were basically as uh, to mount accessories. As you can see, um, the cockpit ha doesn't have the handlebar for mounting accessories, so it's really handy for mounting all sorts of things. As you see on the uh, left-hand side here, I have mounted my phone and uh, that's really handy because this allows my uh, continuous glucose monitor to talk to my phone and thus I can keep uh, an eye on what my glucose is doing at all times. Oh, as you can see my uh, blood sugar is at 9.2 so I'll have to give myself a little bit of insulin um, but this is really handy having it there as I said I can see what my, what my blood sugar is doing and especially important when it starts going low. Another advantage is that it will sound an alarm if it goes below four, and unfortunately, I wish I to, hate to say it, it's happened more times than I wish to admit. <laughs> As you see, I have um, two handlebar extensions which I've mounted to the aids. Uh, these allow me to install uh, mirrors on both sides of the of my trike, and these are very handy, especially on a trike, as you can't really turn around to see what's coming up behind you. As you can see, uh, the, another difference between my bike and Lori's bike, Lori's has direct steering and my bike has indirect steering and it's mounted to a central pivot point. This means that my bike handles more like power steering, steering uh, where hers handles like a sports car with rack and pinion steering and hers can turn on a dime. Okay, the advantages of indirect steering is that it handles, everything is more graceful and handles high speeds over 60 kilometers better than indirect steering. But the disadvantage is again, it does not turn as sharp. So we'll have a look what's on my uh, right stand-up aid. And as you can see, um, you can see the miracle mirror there again as I said earlier and um, here's my water bottle which I use all the time and when it's empty it's easy grab to swap it out with the other bottle on the boom and also I have a here's my Bluetooth speaker which is really great when I'm listening to music and I think the next time we'll start concentrating now on the difference between our bikes on the boom so let's look here at the uh, boom here uh, as you see, there's that spare water bottle that I keep, uh, makes it easy to get. And I also have, because I do a lot of riding in, in winter at night, and there I have a 700 lumen light, and I also have a flasher. Um, the flasher I even at night, when, to make sure that the cars that know that I'm a bike, it helps. And um, during summer when it's crap not so great I usually at dusk or when it's overcast I'll have the flasher on um, now I have two sets of pedals uh, the in summer they they're both Shimano pedals and in this set is my summer pedals and they have clip-ons on the side and on the other side here they have a good set of mountain uh, which allows me to wear sandals in in, um, in summer but in winter, I swap these out for clip-ons on both sides because uh, I have to make sure I don't slip out of the pedals. Now we'll switch to the front view. And here we see the 700 lumen light, uh, the flasher, and I also added a reflector. So we'll now look at the left side of my trike. And the main part of focus here is my medical bag, which has all my... Um, critical medical information on there and I inside are my medical supplies. Uh, this is my PDM. Uh, this allows me to suspend my p insulin pump if my blood sugar goes low. I have juices and that there. This is a uh, homemade medical kit. Uh, this is the, a commercial medical kit, kit I have in there. A backup uh, glucose meter and these are high concentrate glucose and they have proved invaluable. I use those when my blood is sugar is extremely low. For me, they have been literally lifesavers in the past. For my Jasper Tour, which I went from Jasper to Golden, uh, I bought these bags from uh, MEC. 
they're about twice the size of the Mo Smoky Mountain bags and on this side I keep all my camera equipment it's really handy I can flip this up and here you see I've got attached to the back of the seat a two liter uh, water bladder I have one on each side that gives me additional four extra liters of water here you can see I have a pair of uh, Ortley panniers. Both of these are 12 liters. Uh, on this side I keep wet weather gear and on the other side I keep uh, spare tools. In this container I keep my main bike tools which I need to access quickly. Great place for them. This is where I keep my GoPro. In that little black bag I keep an external battery for the GoPro for extended uh, recording. So we'll switch over to the back to show you the safety features. Um, this, I keep a solar red light at night so cars can see how wide I am. Again, there is the quick access toolkit right there. And we'll zoom out so you can see my main flasher. As you can see, the main flasher is much brighter than the secondary flasher. Uh, secondary flash I just used uh, during the daytime for star runs. This is the right side of my trike and the only change here is that I have an Ortlia pannier which I actually use as a glove box and uh, I like these over the uh, over my Arkells. Uh, they are a little bit smaller um, but they are 100% waterproof. What we're going to do is concentrate on the panniers. As you see I have uh, have two rings on both sides on both on both sides of the panniers so one on each pan one set on each panniers and in the back pocket of my seat I have I carry cargo nets um, there you see and uh, they have plastic hooks which attach to the um, the rings and this allows me to carry very large objects on top of the panniers it's amazing how often I've end up using these <laughs> Each of these panniers are 28 liters, so that gives me a total volume of 56 liters. And I found that the uh, bags were, shopping bags, uh, took up too much space inside, so I had these old MEC cargo nets, which I found too small, quite frankly, for anything. But uh, they seem to be work great for holding the bags. I built these uh, panniers from basically their uh, plastic bins I got from Canadian Tire, and I had some Arkell. Um, components from some old panniers I had that had worn out so I salvaged those for the these panniers and uh, quite frankly these panniers are more marvelous for shopping and everything because they're nice big they're solid and it just makes life uh, a breeze. I bought my bike second hand so it is about five years older than Laurie's. Uh, that completes the tour of my HP Veltec RS20. Thanks again for watching the tour of our bikes. The next video will be how I use my bike for doing grocery shopping.